your name here. And two people who definitely have already made their names thus far and have a chance to make an even further name for themselves. Gact from Japan playing Ness, MPG playing Mega Man from the Tri-State area. So this is going to be one heck of a matchup here. Ness, a character known for keeping folks out and then having these amazing combos laterally. The question is, can MPG keep the pressure going? Already trying to go ahead and get that Z-drop into aggressive options on Shield. Yeah, Gak getting here with, without too much effort. Looks like MPG uh, had a little bit of trouble uh, with Scott early on, but uh, you know, it, do it doesn't matter how you win as long as you win. Uh, if, if every game's game three, last stock, and you win, you still win the tournament, Scabs. And we're already kind of seeing what the struggle is going to be for Gak. He's a bit of a floaty character, and that up air is such a threat from MPG. If he ever gets below you, Mega Man is very threatening with right now that PK Thunder 2 almost taking that stock. Yeah, that was a precarious situation. Don't think it would have killed Mega Man. He is very heavy, but uh, great awareness already from MPG. Uh, plenty of Nest players running around in, in the States for him to get the experience he needs here. Mega Man, of course, is, is prevalent in Japan as well, so we'll see who's going to come. Oh, that was almost a great situation for MPG. Gets Got the Metal Blade off the stage. Could not get the Gimp, though, on Ness. That hard knuckle to the down air is such a big threat, too, for Gak. He has to really vary the angle of his recovery. MPG trying to go ahead and get the ledge trap, but not going to work. The dash attack actually claims the stock. Yeah, Patch DI there, what? Scabs. I know. What can you do in those spots, though? Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. I don't know if he was just not expecting to get hit by the dash attack. That's usually where you see those early deaths off of it. Uh, didn't think Mega Man was in range, but still an even game here. He answers right back. MPG and Gak two of peace. And this is something Nesto's so strong is that that combo got him full stage control. But the aggressive option off of ledge gets MPG back in this one. Just trying to zone with those pellets and then jump away and get that forward air, which is the big hit that he's actually trying for. A couple percents from the pellets and then get him off stage with the fair. I just learned a little something new. I did not realize picking up Metal Blade will stop Leaf Shield without throwing it off. So uh, MPG using that tech to his advantage there. Very, very intelligent play, but uh, Gax slowly getting a lead here, then making it very difficult to recover. Oh, wow! He fell out of it! Such yeah. bad luck! Not sure if he smashed the eye out of it or what. You know, that doesn't really exist in this game, but you can influence it to some degree. Mega Man's weight, perhaps. Getting him out of the charge yo-yo and giving him another lease on life here, and he's making the most of it, Scabs. And now just get under directly back to the ledge, and then aggressive option off from Gak trying to go ahead and get one of these aerials to connect. He desperately wants MPG not to be able to just zone him out all day here. Toss him off stage with the back throw. But what is the edge trap? Again, just he, Gak is so slippery off stage. MPG hasn't been able to connect once. Uh, finally, a heal there. I'm actually surprised we didn't see more of that. Uh, Ness can heal a lot of Mega Man's moves, including the, the neutral layer pellets, jab pellets, forward tilt pellets. They're all the same, as well as Crash Bomber which is Mega Man's side B and the forward smash. Can all be absorbed by Ness's down B. Lots of opportunities here to, to not just build the lead, but uh, gain on it with a percent lead by absorbing those moves. Very nearly a bit of unfortunate spot there for MPG when that crash bomb like knocked him away right there. He was trying to set up something so that he could get back to edge safely, but the hitboxes from Gag really threatening there. The dash attack again, taking it off the top. This time in a more reasonable percent, though. Yeah, more reasonable percent for sure, Scabs. You know, this is, uh, I think both players have done a lot of data gathering on the off-stage situations. How are you going to react? I, I think that's what MPG needs, is trying to save a really big, good play for the end. But he's got to get to the end first. Got to get this stock off and get himself in that situation. It just keeps fading back with these aerials and daring Gak to go in. Trying to just drop down any kind of project on him, but again, not able to do so as MPG finally gets the late hit of the forward smash. Again, full stage control because he drops the metal blade. That's going to force him super low, but the air dodge from Ness again coming back, and MPG double forward, and neither one connects. Finally what? gets the kill with the up air, though. I, I hate Ness's air dodge. <laughs> it's so ang I, I, I get angered every time I see that his big head air dodge at that stage. Like, your head can't grab the ledge, Ness. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's one of the few defensive tools he has, though. Like with that linear recovery, oftentimes you just don't want to toss that one out. And MPG's going to have to find a way to make good on that if he wants to get it back in the game here. Not too much of a deficit, only 40%. Great use of the magnet right there, but can't connect with the back here. Good DI from MPG just immediately holding out. And those pallets are just so frustrating for Gak. Those like long-lasting aerials keep getting just sniped out by the little 2% pellets. Like, okay, great, now i got to restart. Oh, got to be careful on those charge forward smashes from MPG. All Ness has to do is react and absorb those, and that would be a big heal for him. And we've seen he can't really afford to give up any of those percents. 
the back air actually clanking with leaf shield. So a little bit of a shield of hitboxes right there. And what a move from MPG to dodge that yo-yo. Again, like both of the edge trapping tools of these characters are usually so threatening, but we haven't really nice. seen it just playing around really well. Yeah, a little Ness 101 there using the getup attack to beat the yo-yo. That Oh, wait a minute, forward air going to kill! Off the side, and he even got the absorb on the crash bomb. Great presence of mind from Gak. Either he was going to get the kill or he was going to get a ton of HP back. He was not threatened by that tricky option from Mega Man. And one thing we talked about last night was contenders versus pretenders. Mm -hmm. He knew, he's like, okay, fine, side beam me, I don't care. The conf when you have that level of confidence in your gameplay and your punish game, that, that makes such a big difference, especially in Ultimate, in Smash Ultimate versus other Smash games. The punish game is so important. Getting those stocks off at 120 instead of 170 is a lot of effort, and that, that saves you a lot of time in, in these matches, and that's really where Gak made his money in the first game, Skeps. But back on the stadium, so we'll have to see if he can keep this up, Gak. Definitely trying to get started with the PK Fire. Low percentage combos can do so much damage. Gets a down throw into the forward air. And this is, uh, yeah, I'm going to take you for a ride all the way across the stage. But great dash back from MPG. His little micro spacing movements have been great. Very swift with it thus far. MP MPG, I, I wouldn't say MPG is not playing well. MPG is playing uh, very well. Tech, so far it's just been a little bit better. Can we talk about like the three extra jumps that he got right there from the up B platform? <laughs> That's yeah. insane. Yeah. You know, Mega Man, one of the characters that can up B first before using his double jump, and a lot of Me what Mega Man players make very good on that. You're going to see it right there. Nope, and it fakes him out, right? So that's a way to get around the yo-yo like he did in the last game, Scaps. He can use that double jump after using the rush up B. It gives him a lot of maneuverability and makes it a lot harder for Gag to pr predict where he's going to be. But, ah, oh man, if we're just going to see forward air and dash attack KOs, that's going to be silly. <laughs> that was almost another one there. And said the crash bombs mixed up that edge trap opportunity. Just trying to go ahead and get Gak to jump out of shield, but falling out of the dash tag, not going to work out. Toss him off stage and go super deep with the back air, not going to work, but he actually gets the tech, but air dodges. That's the whole buffer system coming back to bite MPG. Yeah, I, I, well, no, I'm, I'm, I don't know, because he teched it, and then he air dodged? That yep. doesn't make sense. I, I, I think he, I think he thought he had his double jump first and tried to double jump air dodge. That, ah, that, that would be my, my suspicion there. But nonetheless, uh, it's going to cost him the stock and give Gak yet another lead. One back air again from MPG. Gak has to recover low, but uh, that air dodge, it just not being covered appropriately from MPG. Gak keeps getting back for free. Not something you usually see Mega Man's allowing too much. Now, especially a character like Ness. Ness Arguably, one of the more exploitable recoveries in the game. A lot of characters have a lot of tools to very easily deal with it, including Mega Man. But Gag has, has made it very, very difficult for MPG to do anything off of that. And he has been the one tr causing trouble off the ledge, just like that up smash yo-yo off the stage takes it to a two-stock lead for Gag Scads. And then immediately the Magnet Cancel absorbs the forward smash. So it gets a little bit of HP back, trying to go ahead and get use the Magnet again to cancel out the Metal Blade. Just tossing out hitboxes to make it so that the pressure from Mega Man isn't as effective, but finally landing that hard knuckle down air. MPG clawing his way back in this game for half, but he's got a lot of work to do, Dan. We're going to have to take, take him off the side really early here. Zero percent, two stocks. We're Oh, that's a jab lock. It, it got was guaranteed set up off the two down tilts into the into the home run bat. And it's, and it's starting to look like a home run for Gax. He's uh, one, almost one stock away from being up 2-0 in the set. Remember, these are best of fives for the rest of the tournament. And now it's both players trying to fish for these aerials, but Gak has the added advantage of being able to fade back, and it just feels like whenever he gives up a little bit of space, MPG isn't moving quick enough to exploit it. But just the single hit to interrupt that Smash attack, setting up for another head trap perhaps. Got solid stage control, but again, just give it up immediately because Gak is going high and not reacting quick enough as MPG. Well, another Ness 101 there. Yeah. What? Oh no, talk about Pat GDI. You brought it up the first time, Tim. I think we're two huh? for two right now. What? Where were you inputting? I want to. I think he was dashing away. I, I think he was trying I to get away out of that situation. Let's we'll slow it down. Uh, it's coming up here. I'll put it at half speed. Is this is. He was just standing, he was just still. standing there. <laughs> what? Oh, no. Did you put your controller down? I don't know. <laughs> not like <Huh>? this. <laughs> yeah, right. just absolutely no input. He did not flinch. He just allowed Gak to toss out those hitboxes. It's like, oh, oh no. When there's Look no the input, eyes. so there's no direction. No. When he got hit, there was no direction. That initial DI is a little more important than your influential DI after the hit. Agreed. 
Yeah, he, I don't know. Was he holding? Was maybe he was holding up and has tap jump off? Perhaps. I, I have no idea. That was that was bizarre to me. But nonetheless, Gagged is up 2 uh, one game away from moving on in the winners bracket, Scabs. And now starting it off really well with one of those PK fire combos. Gets the dash act falling out of it, but that sets up for the PK Thunder two, very nearly calling out that get up. PK Fire setting again, trying. It's kind of like a battle of the projectiles right here, where PK Fire might be much more linear than all the tools that MPG has. Then that's why it's kind of so surprising to see Gat kind of getting the best of it in the projectile wars. I don't feel like he's been carried off stage or severely pressured by Lemons or Leaf Shield. Those Lemons are problematic for Ness if he's not absorbing them, but. We have not been able to see MPG make good on that at all this round. And there's another up smash KO. Gek looking in complete control here. Seems to have MPG's numbers, Gabs. That is the case, Tan. I mean, at this point, I think you have to just keep your game plan going, but execute a little bit better. We have to see one of these early Gimps off stage. Oh. oh, no, he did actually he did, keep he. it and then manages to air dodge, but it's just the up throw, not even feeling confident enough to toss the man off stage and try for an edge guard. And Noah's wrong about the no jump there, but oh, nice oh, oh, uppercut! Oh, what a there bait. it is. He got him locked in the uh, the uh, magnet because he was absorbing that crash bomb. So an early kill. Yeah, great, great guy. Yeah, he wasn't he wasn't putting the controller down in that situation. No, makes sir. good on that. You know, the the players are so good at faking out if they've lost their jump jump or not. So they fake us out pretty easily too. True. There's a reason we're sitting behind the desk, caps. <laughs> exactly. I was gonna give the uh, the friends of mine to respect the players, and that's not uh, so. So then off stage with the back air, and now Crash Bomb is out, and it has to air dodge back, but good shield pressure right there. But he goes off stage willingly, and Gak almost been paid for that one. Yeah, I don't like that. I, I, I'm, again, I, there's a reason I'm over here, but just running off stage, that has not been a strong suit. That is how almost every KO has been gotten. It's been gotten with the yo yo, dash attack, and forward air, and there's another one right there. So <laughs> as soon as he gets off stage, Gak is putting him to, to, the, to, the, to work, yeah, and there's not much he can do about it. Toss him off stage again, so we're in that spot where you have to up B early. Air dodge is back to stage. Not a lot of lag there thanks to the neutral air dodge. So good option right there from MPG. Gets a full combo with the Leaf Shield, but Gak just disengages. He's using these platforms really well. Toss him off stage again. PK flag. He's actually extending it, and he was hoping to, I think, to extend the hitbox with that crash bomb. And that is definitely a possibility. As, as you mentioned, you can do that, but... Uh, oh, no! <laughs> Don't turn into... <laughs> Don't turn into a feature film. That's not how you want to end your set. Got to get back in the game somehow here, MPG. Back air, Nestle's a jump. No, he's going to opt not to use the jump just in case. And now the projectiles are out to play, but MPG has quite a bit of work to do. Can't land that back air, but does get the forward smash, so some solid damage, and back to center stage control is Z. Leaf Shield kind of go, I guess, oh, so he got hit by the spinning part of Leaf Shield there, and then it went through him because he got hit by the first part. It, the rest didn't hit him. It was kind of strange. But that's the way some, some of the moves work like that in Smash Ultimate. There's the forward smash. Can we get to a last stock situation here and give, give yourself a chance on this one? The Crash Bomb working out really well right there, but has to do the fade back forward air. Back air does connect. Gak off stage, has to go deep. The air dodges in and again, unable to connect. Those, and the DI mix so, up no, one more time. He was trying to back air him. That's why he Agreed. was holding left. Uh, <laughs> if, we, if we take a look at this one, well, that's he's going he's gonna to come down off of here. He tried to cover the spot. He's going to go for this back air here, and he was holding straight left. Exactly. That's yeah. why he died off the neutral so easily. Just there. didn't react in time to change up the DI, and with that really quick aerial from Ness. Where's the line? There she is. Call it GG. Ah, uh, that is such an awkward spot to find yourself in. You just think you have the ability to claw your way back in the game to get that back air that could claim the stock, but. Unfortunately, Gak was swinging at a disadvantage. He was very aggressive with that Ness, and it was paying dividends. Yeah, that, it, and I, I feel like naturally you, you say it, no, Ness is PK fire on the ground, so you want to jump around Ness, and Gak's like, I've I've done that dance before. <laughs> okay. well, listen, that's my, that's what 